What if Sung Jin Woo had a Pokemon team in Pokemon Legends Z8? Are you ready? Good! Let's get to buckets! Here are six Pokemon that will make him level up. You see what I did there? Level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. Number one, Scatterbug. All right, y'all probably thinking I'm trolling. Well, I'm not. Y'all got a problem with it, y'all can step back. In the beginning of solo leveling, Jin Wu is known as the weakest hunter of all mankind. So we have to start out with the worst Pokemon in Generation 6. This abomination fits Jin Wu so well since that's how we were introduced to Jin Wu at the start of the series. Number 2, Steelix. Jin Wu had a statue quest that folded him. This led to the betrayal of his comrades and not only that, a very big step in his development. Well, also disturbing trauma too. I wanted to make it home alive! Steelix is guaranteed to be in the new game since it is a mega evolution. However, I wouldn't put Steelix as my mega evolution for Jin Wu. Although Golurk was an honorable mention, how could I say no to this smile? Boy, if you're Number three, Heracross. Jin Wu loves putting all of his points that he gains in attack. No, seriously, my man has an addiction. Of being a problem on the battlefield, whoa! His desire to become stronger is really important to him in order to provide for his family. Which gave me the idea of Heracross since one of its abilities is Moxie, which gives him an attack boost every time they defeat an enemy, which this quote by Jin Wu says it all. I've been leveling up this whole time. What the fuck? Heracross is also a mega evolution, so it's guaranteed to be in the new game. But again, it's not Jin Wu's mega. Oh, well, I want to know you love me enough to subscribe to the Hidden Sand Village. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Try me. I will kiss you on the map. Hey, yep. Number four, Malamar. Jin Wu has a moment where he loses his humanity and also gets a quest that has him killing humans. At first, he was hesitant, but then fell into the dark realm of reality that he was in. That's where Malamar comes into play. Its ability, contrary, gives him a boost in whatever stat is lowered. So if you lower its attack... You just basically boosted its attack. So if you talk shit to my mans over here, you better watch out because you will get cooked. However, it also doesn't help when you are getting cooked and then this banger of a song comes on. Some bad news for you. This is gonna come. Number five, Lucario. Is this the next Whoa! Lucario is the embodiment of every anime character. But in Smash Ultimate, his gimmick is every time he takes damage, his attack and power increases, just like Jin Wu. When Jin Wu is in a near-death experience, he always seems to push past his limits, which another anime character has, you know him very well, Goku, which explains this beautiful scene right here. The last Pokemon makes this team overpowered like no other. And yes, it's also the Mecha. We've been waiting this whole time. What is it? You gotta tell me. The last Pokemon is Manetric. Ain't no way we waited this whole time for Met. You know what? Who's writing your scripts? Manetric, when Mega has an ability that you guys are all familiar with, which is Intimidate. Now, there are many Pokemon that have Intimidate, but what makes Manetric so useful to Jin Wu is the lightning speed and quickness that they both have. We get a glimpse of some electricity surrounding Jin Wu, and the whole reason for Intimidate is to mimic Jin Wu's signature skill, which is Murderous Intent. These six Pokemon take Jin Wu's team to the next level, but let me know your thoughts on what you want to see on Jin Wu's team. As always, if you guys enjoy, make sure to crush that subscribe button, Sam Burial, that shit, and you already know, join the Hidden Sand Village. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video, and as my lord and savior says, Y'all yeah, stay up like a lamp and I'll see you on the next video.